Hi, hi everybody. This is Mike Kahn. Um, we're going to do just a short video about um, uh, cr uh, creating um, and taking pictures and then putting it into the Dropbox. So for this course, um, obviously you're going to be making some drawings and then you're going to need to take pictures of them. So you're going to need a camera and the camera on your phone is fine. That can work. Uh, or if you have like a, say a professional camera uh, or a semi-pro professional camera that's on a tripod, that can even work better. The important thing to note is that you need to take uh, pictures of your work and then it needs to be neutral, meaning I don't want you putting too many filters on it or doing too much like Photoshop editing. I want to see what you're actually doing with the uh, drawing. I want it to be as neutral as possible. So one thing that can help you is when you're taking pictures, make sure you have a little bit of light available, meaning take a, uh, take a picture with the, um, with the drawing being say next to a window or with pretty good lighting in the room. So what I'm gonna do is take a picture of this image here. Right, so this is a drawing, this is like a pointillism drawing, right, of like a barn, the inside of a barn. And I'll put it on the floor, you can see that, it'll be next to a window. So I'll get a little bit of natural light there. I'm just going to use my camera phone, and I'll hold my phone above it and kind of square it up and try to get it right in the, in the middle, get it close but not too close take a picture and then send that to my email. The important thing is you don't want the camera to be so close to it that you start getting a curve on the side and you don't want it to be too far away that you can't get the detail. And try to send as big a file as you possibly can. Okay, so on this page, this is the introduction to, to drawing here. Um, if you go to uh, the um, if you go to the content browser over here, and you click on the individual things, you'll see a Dropbox for the line variation. If you click on this, though, you'll you'll get a little more content, right? So one thing to to note is that if I just click on it here. I, I don't see much, but if I click on this or it says content browser, I double click that, you'll see a whole window opens up with lots of videos and demonstrations. Anyway, down here is the Dropbox for the line variation. And what I'm gonna be creating today and tomorrow is some more Dropboxes for various upcoming assignments. I'll click on this and I'll need to upload. I'm gonna upload, I'm gonna find the picture you know, there's lots of stuff here. Here's picture one. Let's see if I've got a better one here. I thought I had one that I edited. Maybe not, but here's picture one. And I can open that, and download that. And then if I want to, I can make a little comment. Hello, this is my picture for drawing one or whatever you want to to add right and then submit to the dropbox and then it will go on there so that you can see if you want to you could edit it and crop it but i would say you know try to leave it as neutral as possible so that i can see what the actual drawing is it's really important that I get as best a, a, a sense of what you are actually um, uh, doing without editing in a digital way. Um, and uh, you know, this will be used for grading and for communicating and for you know, trying to take a look at the work that you are doing, which is you know, very different from a traditional drawing course because in, in a traditional drawing course, I would take the drawing and handle it and look at it um, and uh, I'm also missing the uh, process of you, of you actually drawing, which is something that I think is going to be 
uh, slightly problematic because one of the things that I liked in a face-to-face -face drawing course is I could see people in the action of drawing and often if there was a mistake I could course correct I could give people advice so all I can say there is that if you are having difficulty in this process um, uh, you know um, uh, just ask for Add, add advice. Last thing I want to say is I'm going to be looking at these drawings. I'm going to be making suggestions. Now here's something that's true about every art course. Okay. So the instructor makes suggestions. Don't internalize those things. It's not about you. It's about the drawing itself. And that's, that's the whole purpose, right? Of taking a, a drawing course is to become better. Um, and so the suggestions that I make, they're always for the purpose of making you a better drawer. So don't get like, if I say, oh, I think you should try this, this, and this, don't take that as I'm criticizing you. I'm not criticizing you. I'm just making helpful suggestions for how your drawing can become better. Okay. And that's, that's just, that's the way it is. <laughs> so. Um, anyway, uh, uh, the Dropbox is open now for the line variation, and I will try to get the next assignment posted as quickly as possible, and also incorporate some of the components of, um, from the textbook, which I've gone through, and uh, it looks like we can add those as kind of a sketchbook component, and I'll add that into the future modules. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.